Hi, I'm Dr Pippa Watson. I'll be examining Raymond's back. Raymond has back pain and stiffness, consistent with the diagnosis of ankylosing spondylitis. Is it okay if I examine you today, please? Yes. Thank you very much. Do let me know if anything's uncomfortable during the examination. I will. Thank you. Is it okay to take your t-shirt off, please? Yes. So I'm going to begin with inspection. And so from the side is a useful way to look at the curvature of the spine. So I'm looking at the lumbar lordosis, the thoracic kyphosis and the cervical lordosis. And you can see that's slightly exaggerated in Riemanns compared to somebody who doesn't have this condition. So I'm going to now inspect from the back. So I'm looking for the symmetry of the muscles and I'm also looking for any scoliosis or sideways curvature of the spine. If I could ask you just to take a few steps, please, Ray. Thank you. So I'm just watching Ray's gait. So you can see it's not as fluid as you would normally expect. He's quite stiff when walking. That's great. Thank you. So I'm now going to move on to feel. If anything I do is uncomfortable at all, please do let me know, Ray. I'll let you know. Thank you. So if we could just turn you around to face the back. Thank you very much. That's great. So I'm just going to feel down from the occiput, down the bony spine. Feeling right to the bottom and then feeling across the sacroiliac joints. Is that uncomfortable at all? No, no. Thank you. I'm also going to palpate the paraspinal muscles. Any tenderness there? No. Great. So next I'm going to test some movements. So we're going to start with lumbar flexion. So for this way, what I'm going to ask you to do is keep your feet shoulder width apart. I think you're in a good position there. I'm going to just pop my fingers on the bottom of your spine. I'll just loosen that slightly. And then what I'd like you to do, please, is just to bend forwards as far as you can. That's great. Thank you. And then back up again. So that flexion is slightly reduced compared to normal because Ray's lumbar spine is a bit stiff. I'm now going to look at extension. So I'm going to ask you, Ray, just to bend backwards as much as you can for me. Thank you. And come back up again. And now we're going to look at the lateral flexion of the lumbar spine. And for this, I'm going to ask Ray just to slide his hand down to the side as far as he can. That's great. And then back up. And then if you could slide down the left hand side for me, please. So you can see that all of those movements are quite restricted for Ray. So we're going to move on to look at the thoracic spine. And for this, it's best to have the patient sat down. So if we could ask you, Ray, just to come and sit on the couch for me. Thank you very much. And the reason for doing this is that it fixes the pelvis so that you can't compensate uh, by moving that. So we're going to check thoracic rotation next. So if I could ask you just to fold your arms, please, Ray, and then spin round as far as you can to the right and then to the other side. That's great. Thank you. Now going to move on to look at movements of the neck. So we're going to begin with flexion and extension. So if I could ask you just to copy me and put your chin on your chest and then look up at the ceiling. Thank you. I'm going to do lateral flexion now. So if I could ask you to put your right ear on your right shoulder and your left ear on your left shoulder. Thank you. And then just finally rotations. So if I could ask you just to turn and look over your right shoulder. That's great. And then the other way. OK. You can see that all of those movements are quite restricted in Ray compared to a normal examination. So to summarise. This patient has loss of lumbar lordosis and increased thoracic kyphosis, producing a question mark posture. He has globally restricted movements of the whole spine, including both flexion and rotation. This would be suggestive of a diagnosis of ankylosing spondylitis. It's important to be aware that there are objective measures of lumbar flexion using a tape measure to assess it, Schober's test, measuring finger to floor distance, lateral lumbar flexion, occiput to wall distance gives a measure of thoracic kyphosis. The patient may have additional findings such as apical lung fibrosis or aortic regurgitation.